Well, we are just about to leave again. This time leaving Todd Inlet. We've been here for almost a week, I guess. We're heading to Sydney Spit today. We decided we were done with the normal life and set out to turn our lives into an adventure. This is our story. The good, the bad, and the crazy. Join us as we sail, explore, and share our mistakes along the way. Welcome to the Wayward Life. Where you going all the way to? Due to where the windlass is on the bow, we have to constantly pull the chain back into the locker as we pull the anchor up. Sometimes the anchor chain bunches up and knocks the chain right off the windlass. That happened on this day, and that's why there were two of us up on deck trying to deal with pulling the chain up. We were just waiting for our uh, buddy boat. And while I'm at it, I forgot to plot a course, so I've done that, and now I'm just checking tides and currents. I think I've got the course set. This buddy boat is right over here. We're just waiting for them to leave the dock. One side of the world is super moody looking. See that? Looks like clouds and horribleness. And then over here, it's a bright and sunny day. How quickly things change around here. It'll probably change like seven times before we get to Sydney Spit. of those realities of living on a sailboat. So yesterday we went and did our laundry and we put all of our clothes in the dryer. They came out not dry. <laughs> but we didn't have any time because it was dark and we needed to get back to the boat on the dinghy. So everything has ended up all over the settee. See this? And everything smells slightly like it was in a washing machine all night. Even though it wasn't, and things should have been mostly dry. And we won't be able to wash clothes for another week and a half. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to smell funny. But at least they should be clean. They're just, they don't smell the best. We anchored in 12 feet of water, which seemed insanely shallow at the time, but worked out great. So we made it to Sydney Spit. We're just rowing to shore. We can go check out the beach. It's a beautiful, calm, calm day out here, which is awesome. And we are in deceptively shallow waters. We're anchored in 12 feet right now. Yeah, at low tide. It's supposed to get up to, I don't know, 21 feet or something today, so. But it was a nice slow motor over. <laughs> Didn't bring up any sails, but now there's absolutely no wind out here, which is also nice. So yeah, hopefully we can just enjoy the day. 
Princess up, please. <laughs> It's hot out. Even the sunset was perfect this day. Well, as you can see, it's another beautiful day in paradise. We have sunshine, we have just a couple of small clouds in the sky, and calm, calm seas. The only thing is that there's a few boats that keep going by, and one prawn boat in particular that has a ton of traps out here, and they keep coming by and hitting us with wake. And at one point, the way the wake hit us, we were like healed over like this rocking back and forth. <laughs> it was pretty ruthless. We had to gimbal the stove because it was healed so far over with just from the wake. So that wasn't the funnest. But other than that, this place is magical and gorgeous and incredible. It's easy to get to shore. It's like beautiful, nice sandy beaches that feel amazing on the feet. And it's cold, but I'm still gonna go for a swim later. <laughs> Wait until it warms up a little bit more. Hopefully it stays nice and calm so there's no wind. So there's like this anchorage that we're in and then over there where you see all the power boats, there's a bunch of mooring buoys. And where the mooring buoys are is like the official park area, I guess. There's like camping on the island and stuff and there's a dock. So we're gonna take the dinghy over to that dock and then just go for a little bit of a hike around there. The other cool thing is that there are a ton of otters, river otters on this island. Like last night we were walking the dog and there was like at least 20 otters in a line just like cutting across the beach into the marsh. I've never seen that many otters in one place at one time. It was crazy. And then I went to the beach this morning to bring Max for a walk and there's just otter footprints all over the beach. So pretty cool. <laughs> Woo! The speed keto. Let's see if we make it to the dock and back. <laughs> Stuck in the weeds? Yeah. It's all wrapped around the prop. Now we're not even moving. Putting out way too much. Do you want to pull it off and I can roll it? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gross looking. Hold on. Oh, man. We 
definitely came in the wrong way. We should have gone that way. Apparently, now we know. Well, hold on a second. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Got one of those. The water crossers? What do you call them? The uh, tie boats for long shaft. Oh, yeah. You just have to get over there. No, let me just row. Go for it. Sydney Island is one of the first places to be settled by Europeans on the west coast of North America. It was, however, used by the Husseinic people for thousands of years before the arrival of Europeans. In the 1900s, it was the home of a large brick factory, and remnants of these bricks can be seen all over the beach in the lagoon. They smell like goat pee. Those are all of the San Juan Islands. Okay. All of them, except for this one right here. This is all America. Looking at the states. So weird how arbitrary borders are. Look at the little raccoon toes! Yeah, those are raccoons. So again, our torpedo says 0% battery, but we are slowly, slowly motoring back to the boat, hoping that we can make it before it dies completely. Yep. We're staying out of the weeds this time. Yeah, also staying out of the weeds, but uh, I suspect that we are very quickly going to be in the market for a new motor, different motor, and a different dinghy, just because we can't really go the places we want to go with this one, so... Yep. <laughs> so our big struggle is we can't really hold more than 100 pounds on the davits with, like, for a dinghy, and there's no room on deck, so we got to be able to pull it up on the davits, so we're just trying to figure out what dinghy we want. And then I guess what motor as well, because that'll also have to go on the um, solar arch. Are we going like a knot and a half? 2.4. Oh, 2.4 knots. Going it. Cruising! At this rate, we'll be at our boat in 20 minutes. Woo woo! <sighs> Kyle and Leah are already back at their boat. <sighs> Killing it. Killing it. Max Bud, you cannot get the crab traps. Well, we're almost there and the torpedo's still running at 0% battery. After the epic dinghy ride, we rode over to the beach to enjoy the rest of the day in the sun and sand. The water looked beautiful and tropical, but it wasn't any warmer than previous swims. Although, again, it's still worth it. Join us next week as we explore Ganges Harbor on Salt Spring Island. And thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We read every single comment and appreciate every like and subscription.